Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna make some trackers for my planner for this year, so stay tuned for a fun plan with me. few trackers for my planner. So I've got some stickers here that I got from Designer Chameleon. Mandy at Designer Chameleon is such a sweetheart and she hand draws all of her own stickers. And she has stickers that you can purchase and also digital versions. So I purchased the digital ver versions and print and cut them on my Cricut. But I want to make a reading tracker, like a book tracker, and a TV show, uh, TV shows we watch and movie tracker as well as a nail polish tracker. So I've got the, this one is called Winter Reading, the Winter Reading Sheet. And then I printed on, for this one, this is called Movie Collection. This is the main sheet. And I separated the items and printed some of the ones larger on this sheet. And this is from last year. This is from the Winter Nail Polish Sheet, which she still has these available. I think the colors are different, but I'm going to use just this one that I have left over to make my nail polish tracker. And this is so cute. This is like the bookshelves reading tracker. It comes in black and white or in color. I purchased the color version and just print and cut it on my Cricut. I put a just a white rectangle the same size as this behind it so it wouldn't cut out each individual thing so I can just make it all one piece but you can do it either way but I'm super excited I want to start with oh and I made these on the Cricut these are just film strips that I looked up and found on Cricut Access and I'll show you my movie tracker from last year okay this was it, and these were actually from Designer Chameleon, these film strips, but she kind of revamped the de design a little bit, and it has these larger, as well as these are so cute. So I just printed and cut those on the Cricut because I was, I was wondering how I was going to write them down, like in a box or just in a list, and I really liked how this worked out, even though we didn't watch many movies. We watched more TV shows. And then also this one, this is the nail polish tracker I made using her stickers last year. So um, I'm just going to use that one big one and roll with that. But I'm going to start with the book tracker and then I just have some plain dot grid uh, paper from the Happy Planner. So I'm so excited to use this. So this is going to be pretty easy to do, but I'm just going to put it right here on the sheet. Centered. All right. So this has a place, I counted, it's 40 something books. And I, I started out with some goals for the year and I set my goal for 20 books. I've upped it to 40 books because I've been doing a lot more audio books. I've been re listening to a lot more books that way. And I really love it. I've already read three or I'm, a, I'm on my third one, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here as one that I've read because I'm almost done with it. And Oh, Mandy also has these. She sent me this a while back, but these are super cute. I don't know that I'm gonna use these this time in this project, but these this is a really cute way to track your book too, books you're reading too. And I'll be sure and link her shop in the description box, but it's designerchameleon.com. They have, um, you can write the name and the author on the front and then give it a rating. And she also does these in stars instead of hearts, but I think the hearts are super cute. All right, so I've got my tracker on there or my bookshelf and then this is the title I made and what was this called happily craft happy crafted is the font that I used for this so I'm just going to center this right above the bookshelf let's do this purplish one I think I'll do it on this side. And then this little book, like a little open book, I'm gonna put it on the other side. All 
All right, so I wanna go ahead and fill in the books I have read. And of course, I had to have a picture of Chip and Millie on the bookshelf. So I made these little pictures of them and put them in these frames on the Cricut. So, oh, they're so cute. So they might be, I was thinking I could fit them in where there's blank spots, like definitely here. That's cute. I don't know if it'll fit there. Let's see. Maybe I should do, I could cover up these cute little bottles. I think I'll do Millie up here. And then Chip here. How cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little pair of glasses on the shelf there. Just do these. How cute. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in and I'm just gonna use a Muji, a Muji 0.5 because it writes very thin. The first one's called The Breakdown. And then the next one's called Confessions on the 745. I'll have to write it on two rows. So I'm just gonna write it really small. And then the villa, I'll be able to write it a little bigger. So I'm gonna just put the kind of small and do the villa in like a stretchy script. Let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna do this and this. I'm gonna print each book cover just on my printer at home. And I have, and I'm printing them like I did. I did a book tracker for my daughter-in-law for Christmas. And the dimensions for those uh, book covers were one inch by one and a half inches. So that's what I did these in. So I'm just gonna glue these or tape these down because a lot of times when I see the cover, I'll remember about it, more about it, like the characters and everything. So I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna do that and put all the books that I read here, the covers, and then decorate the bottom of the page with these cute stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. Oh, and I wanna have a reading quote too. Let's see. So I'm gonna put that right here in the corner. Okay, and I made just a little template out of poster board. I just cut on my Cricut two rows, one has four and one has five of the, um, like the little book covers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and I'm just gonna use, I think a ballpoint pen cause they're less likely to smudge than any other kind. This will just help me know where I can have design elements So I'm gonna have this one staggered just a bit. All right, so I got those drawn. I just kind of did them not perfectly symmetrical and I did do a few on the, on the back side and I got a little pin mark there, but that's okay. When I put the book cover there, it'll cover it up. So I wanna go ahead and tape my 
book covers, the ones that I've read, and tape runner, and I'm gonna put them in the order of how I read them. So first, it's the breakdown. So see, it'll cover up even the pen mark. It's just there for kind of like a guideline. And then, confessions on the 745. And the villa. Get that straight, okay. I think this will be so much fun to look back on. And now I wanna add just a few more stickers in the blank spots. So I'm gonna put this chair from Designer Chameleon right here, and then there's another one. I think I'll just put them kind of centered. Okay, and then the little two end tables or side tables. Let's do that there. And this one over here. Cute, and I made a little quote to go in this opening and it says, a new adventure is only a page away. It's in two different pieces, but I thought that would be cute there. All right, and then like here, I could do some of those stacks of books. Like this one, be cute. And I have another one just like that. I guess I could do, well, it's not just like it, but I could do it right here and just trim off the edge. All right, I think that's cute. They're kind of facing each other. And then I made a quote to go here that says just one more chapter. It'll just kind of fill that space out perfectly. Okay, and I may decorate with some more sparkles and things as I fill it in, but I think that's so cute. I love it. I'm ready to fill it all up. And now let's go ahead and make the show and movie tracker. So on this one, I think I'll go ahead and do the nail polish one first. It won't take that long and I've got a sticker for that nail color tracker right here. And I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna, this is, since this is so large, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And I'm gonna draw a double line here to sort of separate the, where I'm gonna write the column titles from the listings. And then every, and then I'll skip down two rows for each different line. Just gonna close it off on the sides. So I just want a column for the date. And then the brand of the polish. And the name of the color. And then like a brief description in case I forget. 
and then whether I liked it or not over in the last column. So I'm just gonna fill these in. I'm gonna use a paper make flare for this. All right, so I haven't had my nails done yet this year. Got them done right at the end of January, so or December. I'm gonna do some washi here to kind of pull it all together. I'm gonna just do some black and white washi from Live Love Posh. These two. dots and I'll do them up at the top and that'll be all I'll need for this. All right, and some of the stripes here. So that one's just simple and all right I love that just very simple straightforward and now on the back I want to do the shows and movies and it's mostly going to be shows but I made a TV shows and movies label for up here there we go and I'm just gonna line these up uh, a longer one than a shorter one. Lined up. All right, and then we'll do the shorter one. And I think this is all I'm going to do, and then I'm going to make the rest decorative. And if I need any more room, I'll just and I'll just add more of these on another page. So let's see. I might not need these big ones yet. Let's see. I'm going to do the the popcorn down here, and the movie tickets. Okay, 
And then up here, let's do the clapperboard. Actually, let's do the popcorn up here since it's more colorful and it also fits there better. Let's do that there and we'll do this here. And then sprinkle some popcorn around. That there, I like to have just, just a little bit more. And then let's do this up here because it's primarily going to be TV shows. And then some of the popcorn. Cute. It was a really fun and easy little project. The book tracker was the one that took the most time, but I'm so excited about it. Okay. Let's put that over there. And a few more. Let's see. do it like this on the side of that another one here and here and then I'll use some of the bigger pieces at the bottom I really wanted to use these numbers like these, so I'm gonna see if I can use this up here. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out better. Okay, then I'll just scoot this popcorn over a bit. Have the little remote there and I'll trim that off. Okay, now I can do these. These are so cute. Just enough room for the zero. Let me move the movie ticket just a little bit. Okay, and then some of that popcorn from the sheet I printed bigger. This is so fun. Okay, let's do some of this down here. I need to turn this remote also. There we go. Let's do some up here. piece right here. Let's do a little bit over here. And I've got one more piece. Of course, I can print as many as I would like since they are digital. That's what I love about being able to print my own stickers. Print whatever size you like or and how many you want. So let's put one right here. Right in the middle there and then over here. 
Okay, so that's gonna be my entire set of little trackers. I absolutely love them. I can't wait to use them. So let's flip back through. This is my book tracker where I'll just write in the titles. And then on the back two pages and then this other page, I'll put, print the, the book covers. Here's the nail polish tracker and the TV shows and movies. And these stickers were perfect for it. Don't forget, I'll be sure and put a link to Mandy's shop in the description box. I love that she draws all her own stickers. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put this together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.